this is my story about how I got into the mechatronics program and what choice I made to get there. Um, starting off, give you some background. It is after COVID year, which was my sophomore year of high school, where we didn't have that last semester. Well, we had it, but it was like halfway. So summer happens, and then two weeks before school starts. That's when we're at. Two weeks before school starts, I get this call from the CTE director. He's like, we're going to get this awesome new program. I think you would really enjoy it. Uh, come to the school. We'll have slides and stuff ready to show you all the information you need, and you could get a free college degree from it. And I was like, that sounds pretty good to me. He started off with the college degree part. I was like, that sounds really good. So I showed up. And it was about mechatronics and cybersecurity. I didn't listen to the cybersecurity part because it sounded really boring. Um, I did not want to mess with cybersecurity. It's just like, eh. But the mechatronics stuff, I found out now. I really like it. Um, but then I was like, it would just be pretty cool. I mean, like, a free college degree and all that. I mean, all right. The, the PowerPoint itself was really boring, but there was some good stuff in there that that did manage to get me hooked into it. Mainly driving factor was a free degree out of it. And so I was like, I don't know, that's gonna be a lot of work, right? Like that swapping out high school stuff for college stuff. And they were like, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work, but still all the stuff that you'll get out of this outweigh the amount of work by a lot. It does, looking back on it now. Um, but then I was, I. I gave him a hesitant yes. I was like, I mean, I'll do it. I don't see why not. Um, so we're getting closer to when school is going to start. Mind you, I already had a high school schedule made for me, but now I have to get all of the college stuff worked out and made. So my whole schedule gets absolutely destroyed and built back piece by piece to fit everything in that needs to fit. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to show up when. I've actually never been to the mechatronics lab in the high school. So that's just part of it. Finding out everything and when to be where, what all has to fit, what classes do I have to take and stuff like that. That's just one of those things that happened as an effect of being the first year that they had the mechatronics program. We had a few kids only in some of the classes and then we had like a core five of us which are going all the way to get the associate's degrees. So were that that's pretty much how I got in a very hectic cramming courses in trying to trying to make everything just work I'm one of the first group to do this and it's hectic but that choice that I made has benefited me in more ways than just getting the piece of paper the knowledge that I have from that I, you all know I have a 34 year old truck it's very, very much made with old electronic stuff. I can work on the, like everything. My air conditioning didn't work, like the settings on it, I fixed it. It didn't matter. I, I read the circuit diagram and I went and I was like, that's where the problem is. It's so like that sort of stuff that it's not the piece of paper, but those benefits that come from the mechatronics make that choice to join, the hectic choice to go through with all these crazy classes and try and cram everything into work, all of that, has affected me more than just the piece of paper. Uh, and I'm very thankful for that. The mechatronics program and having, it, it benefited that way, but also having a really nice schedule. <laughs> really nice schedule. Uh, yeah, so that's why I joined.